B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Today's episode is about P. Welcome to Deep Fat Fried. Got you some Gurgi, huh? Your Gurgi can't save you this time, boy. Your Gurgi can't save you this time. TJ, please don't do this episode. Oh, it's happening. Please. It's happening, Gurgi. You can't stop it. Please You can't don't. stop it, Gurgi. No. How many times can you do a P episode, TJ? Um, P. have I ever done? Oh, guess what happened? P happened. And a P, P throughout history. P in the face. P in my ass. P in my fucking pee pee. P storing the balls. P, P, P. It's like the P fucking show from you. You're just trying to bait out collarbones equals DFF, aren't you? <laughs> you know, I don't, uh, I don't think we've ever done an episode on P before. Dude, we've, we've covered fucking piss a bunch of different ways on this show. Yeah, well, Scotty did a fucking a ancient show about how they rub piss about all over everything, and they tested yeah, your piss. Yeah. But this is the definitive pee episode, so let's fucking pee. get into it, huh? Urine, also known as pee, or wee, or piss, or probably a bunch of other terms, too, is the body's liquid waste. Urine is mainly made of water, salt, ammonia, electrolytes such as potassium, phosphorus, and chemicals called urea and uric acid. Urine flows from the kidneys through the uterus and uh, to the urinary bladder. Through the uterus? Uh, yeah, urine. I'm sorry, <laughs> ureters. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you... <laughs> you do, like, like pee is like stored the in the uterus now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, in utero. Uh, the ureters. I don't even know what that is. The average person urinates 0. 0.8 to 2 liters per day, or that's around 3.5 to 8.5 cups. So Damn. it's pretty impressive. Would you say you get Scotty and Paul? How are you guys? Uh, you guys piss more like around the 3.5 cups or 8.5 cups or what? I've never 8. measured. 5 cups. I've never measured. You never measured it? I wouldn't know. P I, I pee a lot. I piss 30 cups of fucking piss a day. That's fucking, that's me. Only 30? Yeah. I mean, you can do better. Let's learn about the urinary tract system a little bit. These women. Digestive they, system. Is that lady drinking pee? After the nutrients from yeah, food she's and drink drinking are pee. absorbed into the body, the mm -hmm. digestive system breaks down and removes wastes and toxins. Urination is one way. Is your it body is it fucked up toxins. that I looked at this lady and I was like, she does not need to be eating that muffin. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucked, it's up, fucked up because I'm a big fat fuck too, yeah, right? You, yeah, you fat too, buddy. I know. This is done through the urinary tract system. In this video, and she's in a wheelchair. For fuck's sake. Damn, I feel system. even worse. <laughs> I didn't even know she was in a wheelchair. Yeah. Damn, Paul talking shit. What a scum fuck. How it may woman. behave differently after your spinal cord injury. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Paul. So this is about how a spinal cord injury might affect your uh, your pee process. Urine exits the body through an opening but. called the urethra. The urethra yeah. is controlled by muscles that work with the bladder to prevent urine from leaking. When it is time to urinate, the brain sends a message to the bladder for these muscles to relax and allow urine to pass. A spinal cord injury can... Doesn't really matter about the spinal cord injury. But uh, I thought you might like the uh, the wheelchair chick, Paul. I thought you might like her going to the bathroom there. Really? She's got a spinal injury. Yeah. She's eating muffins. She still probably shouldn't be eating those muffins, you know. But, uh, you know, it's she, uh, it's all very rudimentary shit, you know. A little bladder, signals from the brain, release I can't the imagine, blah, like, blah, blah. if you got a spinal cord injury, like, being fat is probably extra fucking bad, you know. Well, she got the spinal cord injury because she's too fat. The fucking weight of all her fat... She ate Broker's too many. Mind. She ate too many muffins. She ate too many muffins. She got one. She got one pound too fat. Spine just went. That's how it works. Damn. Brutal. That's how it goes. How about some facts about P, Paul? Some P facts. P facts. So this is a a uh, probably very historically inaccurate depiction of of ancient Egypt here. 
Oh. Mercy, master! Mercy! There is no mercy for a slave of the state. Get to work and let these pyramids be a monument to your misery. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Actual <laughs> quote from history. That's actually the pharaoh right there. Yeah, dude. He's a fucking douchebag. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. I know. It's like, you know, he's not even, tr you know, he just takes like pure joy in it. Like, yeah, you fucking piece of shit. You're a slave to the state. It's actually pretty accurate. Um, so here's the uh, here's the uh, ancient Egypt fact, though. In ancient Egypt, men sat or squatted to pee while women's women stood to urinate. Woo! Minds are blown, huh? How? Why? Yeah. Why? I don't know. That's it. That's all I got. I didn't fucking pull any more information about it. That's, That's like your fact. And so it was back. It was backwards day over at fucking in Egypt. Yeah. Egypt Egyptians are like, yeah. I think men should squat. I think women should stand. Makes more sense to us. What's wrong uh, with that? Nothing wrong with that. I like standing up and taking a piss though. I like like going out, especially outdoors. Like a good standing outdoors piss. Nothing feels better. Yeah, yeah we well. get the option of both. I mean, you like squat your ass be... down. This is Egypt times. In Egypt, you gotta do you know like when in Rome, when in Egypt, Paul, you gotta squat. In many Muslim countries, both men and women sit to pee. They believe standing up to pee is something dogs do, not humans. So basically, you know how they the uh, Muslims have that hate boner for dogs? Yeah. They see dogs standing up to pee, and they're like, not us. That's unrefined. That's dog-like behavior. We're not, we're not down with that. I guess I'm a dog. What percentage of people pee in the shower? I'd say, like, probably, like, well, because this is one of those ones that relies on self-reporting. All right, so I guess the question is, how many people do you think self-reported peeing in the shower? Half, half of people. Hmm. Half of people? Yep. So 50%. 68%. What do you think, Scotty? 68%. 68%. What do you guys think the actual number is? Like 90, 95% of people. Yeah, like <laughs> 99%. Well, according to the surveys, 45% of people urinate in the shower. Yeah, Fuck I was, I was pretty close. That shit. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying I do it every time, but I mean, you're in a hot shower, the feeling comes over you. You're gonna take what percentage of people admit to peeing in the pool? Ooh, this one, oh, this one's a little last. more antisocial here. Yeah, this is, you have to actually, this is what percentage of people will admit to it. Now, obviously not with their name attached to the admission, but just like in an anonymous Probably poll. Probably like 15, 20%, somewhere around there, I'm guessing. 15 to 20% sit, will admit to it, you think? Yeah. It sounds about right. you, Paul? You that sounds about right. About Somebody thirty, about thirty to forty percent of adults admit to urinating in a public swimming pool. On average, there is what? one to three ounces of urine per person in a in a uh, public pool. Gross. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. So you know, if 30, 40 percent of people to admit to it. That means I mean, so like. People, oh. I mean, how many people are doing it and not admitting to it? You know what I mean? Dude, if I ever have a place that has a swimming pool, I'm getting that dye that, like, turns all fucking bright red if somebody pees in it, and then I'm That's calling that, that motherfucker's never allowed my pool again. Unfortunately, That's that dye does not actually exist. exist. No, they, dude, I'll invent it. <laughs> Paul, unfortunately, if you invented it, you would see most of your pool would be, like, have uh, shades of red or blue or whatever the fuck color the dye was going to be. Cause nope. I'd have people over and I'd see it spreading out of their trunks and I'd be like, get your fucking ass out of my pool. Get out. You gotta go. You gotta go. Pisser. Several major league baseball players, including uh, Moses Allo and George Posada, use urine on their hands to prevent and relieve calluses. Does it work? I don't know. <laughs> I mean... I wonder, I wonder if it was just... I wonder if they like did it in a fucking way where it's like, yes, they have like a little jar of urine. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will I'll rub this urine on my hands. It's been sterilized and treated. Or if they're just like, if it's just crass, it's like, all right, got some calluses, better piss on my my own hands yeah. now. Is it, is it their urine? Is it someone else's urine? Is it an yeah. animal's urine? How often do they apply it? How do you how do you know they do it then? 
I mean, you know, just, these are just little factoids, Scotty. You know, uh, you, just, you have no proof of this, TJ. Just throw I them out there. This is bullshit, dude. Unless no, you Scotty. No, 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 no. A little factoid. Where'd you get it from? Everything that I tell you on this show is the truth. The truth, unvarnished, pure, and beautiful. Wonderful are you truth. Are to take a lie detector test on that, TJ? Hell yeah. Uh, <sighs> sure the fuck am. The American pilgrims made a type of soap called chamber lye by letting urine sit in a barrel and then mixing it with ashes. Hey, it gets you clean. Great soap. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> make all that soap. Gross. Some ash, <laughs> some ash and some piss and we age it and then, you know, you got a soap. We got fermented piss and we got ashes. So, you know. How the fuck did we ever survive? This era of rubbing piss all over well, ourselves. Well, look at how look how people are dressed and where they're living. So, <laughs> you know, it wasn't a great time for humanity. I mean, we we're doing too hot. Each year in Canada, dude. Wait about, a minute, now you can't show this. Why not? I can see a big old Palooza right there on the second to the right. Yeah, well, it's covered with fabric, so it's you can okay. see his whole ass Palooza hanging there. Palooza, Palooza. Palooza. Look at us, Pelosa. <laughs> this big old hog. Just fucking hanging there. There's a couple of hogs now that I'm looking. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it's all for the good of Canada, I guess. So, each year in Canada, about 225 men fall overboard and drown as a consequence of standing up in a boat to urinate overboard. Tragic. How many? 225. Yeah, no get, fucking way, dude. They fall overboard. They fucking stand up on the edge of that boat. They're like, I don't need to take a piss. And they fall overboard and they're fucking you, dead, Scotty. You mean they're drunk and they fall over? They're dead, I mean, Scotty. Like, how the fuck do you not just get back in the boat? It's, the boat fucking loses them. I don't know. The Chinook tri Indian tribe used to make Chinook olives by soaking acorns in urine for five months. The dish was considered... A delicacy. I think you're just making <laughs> shit up about piss dude, now. No fucking way, <laughs> TJ. This is such bullshit, dude. How do you fuck? How do you say that? Look it up, Chinook Olive, Scotty. Look it up. All right, let me look right now. Look it up. Some apocryphal shit at best, TJ. <laughs> this is some fucking Chinook horse Olives, dude. shit. Everything, everything in this episode has reeked like it's like a half truth. There's a Wikipedia article on that shit. Yeah, right here, Wikipedia article. Chinook olives, the aboriginal people of the Columbia River Valley used urine to cure acorns. The settlers of European origin in that region gave the dish the name Chinook olives. About 35 liters of acorns were placed in a hole near the entrance of a house. The acorns were then covered with a thin layer of grass and dirt. Urine from every family member was collected and deposited in the hole for the next five to six months. The dish I'm not was considered many sources on it, though. Like a source? Well, it's right here. There's three sources right here here in this little tiny article. I just clicked on them. Yeah. Didn't really yield much. Well, you know what? That's because who the fuck is sitting there writing extensive fucking <laughs> tomes about Chinook olives? It's a fact they did it, Scotty. It's got a Wikipedia article. How can you fucking also known as a deny source, it? Uh, also known as Acorns, Marinating and Urine, sourced the Chinook Indians by Paul Kane, the Canadian Journal, January 1857. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you have like one little journal entry from then, I guess, that says they, that's what they did. They did. That's what, that's what it says. There is another article of food made of use amongst them, which is from its disgusting nature, and I should be tempted to omit were it not peculiarly a characteristic trait of the Chinook Indian, both from its extraordinary character and its use being confined solely to this tribe. It is, however, regarded only as a luxury and not as a general article of food. The whites have given it the name of Chinook Olives, and it's prepared as follows, and it just tells you how it's made. Yum. So this guy claims that, eh, one dude. I don't know. You calling him man a liar, Scotty? I don't know, TJ. As men age, the speed of their urine stream declines. In fact, men urinate faster than women up till around age 50, and then women urinate faster. What? Yeah. I'm I'm going to pee slower? Yeah, your pee is going to slow. No. Slow pee.
Kidney stones. Oh. Um, kidney stone disease. Fuck, oh, dude. Is when a calculus, a.k.a. It's really called a calculus, huh? A.k.a. a stone develops in the urinary tract. Kidney stones form in the kidney and leave the body inside the urinary system. A small stone can pass without causing symptoms. However, if a stone grows more than 0.2 inches, it can block the uh, ureter, causing severe pain. Ready for that severe pain, Paul? So here's some early signs. Sign one, pain in the back, belly, or side. Sign two, nausea. Sign three, vomiting. Sign four, pink, red, or brown colored urine. S uh, sign five, feeling the need to pee often. Six, only being able to pee a bit. Seven, burning or pain while you pee. Eight, fever and chills. Nine, cloudy or smelly urine. Dude, I there have like go. seven of these. 